By the way, it's, uh, we have a return guest, Ooh. one of our favorites, to okay. talk a little bit about the election. She's Ooh. a lot smarter than us when it comes to these things. Grace Parra! Yeah! 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 Hi, hi, thank you. I don't know that I'm a lot smarter, but, you know, I'll try. <laughs> a little oh, bit guys. at least. Welcome. Hi, hello. Thank you very much. Hi. Welcome back, darling. Thank you look thank fabulous. You. Fantastic as well. Oh. Good to see you guys. I love how oh, Latinos we hug. I love that. We hug. We kiss. We wait, wait, kiss. No, 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 we we do 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 wait, each other. Oh, do you what? remember what we did last time? No. What, when we counted three, we scream. Yeah, yeah. what did we scream? Hua. Hua. Yeah. Okay, got it. That's what the exorcist screamed. Okay, one, two, three. Hua. All right, so let's just start off with Yes. what are your thoughts? What's going to happen now? We are in end times. <laughs> okay, girl. No, Seriously? it's not. It's, it's, you know what? Here's the thing. There, I, I, what, what I'm distilling is how much we didn't know and how much we didn't listen. This is my biggest issue. I think that the voice of the people who voted for Trump mm. have been prominent and they have been speaking mm -hmm. speaking and we've not been listening and i think a lot of this is in the curation of our own social media the, absolutely the people, twitter and yeah. facebook yeah. they they censored a lot of these voices instead of letting them scream their craziness and yeah. so we could see that it was there and there are and, crazy and, feedback loops you know yeah. in, my, in my liberal kind of environment that i live yeah. in on social media yeah. i just am bombarded by the same viewpoint which i thought was okay yep. but now that you bring this up it's like no like, yeah. none of us were even acknowledging let alone listening that's the to, thing. to the other that's part. Exactly, and there is a distinction between acknowledging and between listening. Right. We just pretend like these people didn't exist. Totally. But not only are we pretending that they don't exist, we also just aren't listening to what their concerns are and what their fears are. And and and, and we, we're so quick to dismiss that voice without actually listening to what they're saying. And 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 nah, we're fucked. And can't say that probably. No, yeah. did. Sorry. Look, you know, I, I, as, as a strong, smart woman, I'm sure, you excited. know, Hillary, and I know you, you were a Bernie person first, and then get, get, yeah. Hillary also obviously resonated with the strong woman in you. I, yeah. I wanted to yeah. see, you know, that, that box checked off, you know, seeing a woman in, in the White House, yeah. who's gonna be the next potential woman that can come and, and I mean, for me, it was Elizabeth Warren. I thought that right. that was yeah, that, I honestly think what's fascinating is that going into this election, I was, first of all, so so convinced that Hillary was going to win, but also convinced that the GOP was essentially in shambles. Because yeah. where were the millennial voters? And where were the young people? Where's the next generation of Republicans? Right. It's the exact opposite. It's the Democrats now, given that we lost mm -hmm. the presidency and the House and the Senate, and the fact that our two mastheads, Hillary and Bernie, are so much older mm -hmm. and inevitably won't be able to run for president again, we're starting from ground zero. I mean, I do think Hil Elizabeth Warren is somebody to... I think Cory Booker is somebody as well. There are people in the Democratic Party, but they got to step the fuck up. Right. And there also need to be new voices in that party aware of the fact that this can't just be shouting the liberal agenda constantly without even trying to pay attention to what the other side is saying. Do you think saying. Michelle Obama oh. will ever try to? I do think so. I, 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 I think that she's probably going to try to run for Senate in New York. Now, she said of... she, now, unlike Hillary Clinton, she said she's not, so she would have to go back on her word right. and say, well, I changed my mind. Right, which is possible. Yeah. I mean, I'd be fine with her having Totally. But do you think that's a death sentence like for anybody, for any woman running for the presidency? Because if she does run for Senate, do you think there's like an evil spell amongst women who <laughs> are in the Senate trying to run for the presidency? <laughs> Oh God! I mean, I think I think running for Senate, she'll she'll have an easier time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and and that was actually something that was that was nice to see in the election this this uh, past week was um, <laughs> the uh, you know uh, Kamala Harris, for example, right. in California won. We have a number of of uh, ethnic women, diverse women who who have positions of power. For running for president, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, to an extent, we might be a little bit shell shocked. We might be a little bit shell shocked. I, I also think that they're not to denigrate needing a female president. Mm -hmm. It is something that's important. But as Latinos, we also want Latino representation as well. So there that's was a something senator, that I, I agree. The first senator lady. First senator. Oh, lady. Uh, she, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going to go there. They're going to kick my ass because I didn't know the name right away. It's right okay. We, we <laughs> often don't know the name right either. We're going to go to commercial it. and we're going to come right back with Grace Parr right here on the zoo. Yeah. We are back here on the zoo with Grace Parr talking about the election. And before the break, you were looking up the name of the Latina woman? Yes, because I was a little unfocused, so I forgot like her name. I didn't have it on top of my head. But it's um, Catherine Cortez, a senator from Nevada. It's the first Latino woman to be senator now. So mm -hmm. it's uh, a big deal. Sure. So now we have a woman Latina 
in the government. I'll ha take ha. it. Well, I'll, take it. I'll take it. Okay, great. So are you yeah. moving to Canada, Mexico? What are you gonna do now? <laughs> uh, uh, Spain, probably, because really? I love tapas. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Costa Rica would be nice. Costa Rica would be nice. No, you know what? I'm gonna stay the fuck here. Because <laughs> yeah. there's work to be done, y'all. And yes. I don't feel, yeah, I mean, moving is, uh, moving is done, but I do remember that the night of the election, um, there was uh, the, the, the website. The Canadian crash, yeah, the Canadian immigration. Canadian immigration oh, yeah, website true. crash, oh, yeah. so many were watching it. But that's dumb. I mean, none of us are gonna leave. We're not gonna leave. We're right. not gonna leave. We're gonna stay the fuck right here as well we should and yeah. figure out what's next and try to rebuild and start with rebuilding the Democratic Party because well, it's in shambles. I think that honestly for you specifically <laughs> that you true. have a chance to do some good things with your career because you've been, I've checked your social Tell media. Tell my agents that. They'd love to know. Because of, <laughs> well, because of the spoof that you're doing on Melania Trump. You have oh, four years of this. Right. Well, God. I know. That's something that I've been thinking about that's too. that's a first lady? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what? I was thinking actually a parallel, <laughs> so if I may. Tell me what you guys think. This. You've mm. all seen The Sound of Music. <laughs> right. So to me, Michelle Obama is Julie Andrews in The Sound of Music. She comes in and the Von Trapp kids are singing and they're making outfits out of curtains and yeah. they have a lovely time. And then she leaves and then Fraulein Baroness What's-Her-Face, the cold, steely-eyed bitch, yes. comes in <laughs> and takes over. And then there's that one scene where they're just like, here's the ball, toss the ball to you. Like they're trying to <laughs> trying to have camaraderie and it's not happening at uh. all. That's what's, that she is Melania Trump. Can so you, and we're I, just the Von Trent family kids who want our, 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 our Julie Andrews back. What are your thoughts about she, her picking the topic of bullying? Come on. It was ironic. I mean, yeah, to say the least ironic. Yeah. I think it's, I, yeah, she, she doesn't know what that means. She does not know what that means. That's, that's the <laughs> issue. She's not aware of the fact that her husband is, so she's is bullying English? personified. Well, she, she was <laughs> speaking English. She was <laughs> reacting to uh, being bullied after she right. maybe unknowingly plagiarized a speech that her assistant gave sure. to her. I, I mean, I don't know what oh, happened there. Was, she, what happened. she was bullied and she and she felt like she had to you know, react to that. But I, I do think that I was talking to a lot of the people. I came here today thinking, oh my God, everyone's going to be so depressed here. Yeah. And, and I told them, you know what? Uh, Bill Maher, uh, Stephen Colbert, The Daily Show, they made their careers uh, during George Bush, not during Obama, so maybe it's good for exactly. Latino voices to have a common enemy to go after I, I have to say, I have been waking up thinking that exact same thing every day and realizing that our voice specifically is more imperative than ever before. Yes. Than ever before. Right. And so it's insane how that has changed on a dime. Well, but, but specifically in the artistic realm, right. and specifically in the commentary, and specifically in the way that we respond to this right. as artists and as people who are millennials and cognizant of what's going on in the world, it's just more important than ever before. Do artists even get paid? Like when Beyonce and Jennifer Lopez did all these concerts for the Clintons, do they good get compensated for this type of thing? Or is this just um, something voluntary that they do for these campaigns? There might, you know what, there might be some sort of like tax write-off, I don't know. Oh, well that, that sounds like a good reason to do a concert for, the, <laughs> for a political candidate. But it is, it is true, I, I would think that Celebrities would have more of an impact, but they, they didn't. Apparently they didn't. <laughs> Apparently not. They didn't. No, but I'm I think scared I, that Trump is going to go against Jennifer Lawrence now. But no, so why? Bad. I think mean, that there's because a diminishing... Because she hates them. There's a diminishing effect because, look, what do you think about the media? Obviously, you're in commentary media, okay? Mm -hmm. You make jokes, you, 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 I try you comment. To. You, yeah, you, so you're opi you, have, you do opinions, you editorialize, mm -hmm. but the news media... I think that they worked against Hillary Clinton by kind of losing their objectivity and not resisting the urge to do yeah. it. And I think that people have such a distrust of the media that it worked against her that the media was kind of slanting things in her direction. Well, I, I think I think what was difficult to parse was what exactly the narrative was and why that narrative was in place. For yeah. me, looking at CNN and MSNBC, you know exactly what that narrative is. Clinton's gonna she she was gonna win. Right. There was no there there wasn't a real contest. I mean, all the polls also. The polls and the pollsters are seriously to blame as well. Everybody um, was wrong. Everybody. You know everybody why? What does it say about them? There was because a middle class white guys this. don't answer One the polls. Poll. Is no, the problem. I don't and know. Those are the ones that you know. I don't know if you guys did any. I did some phone banking for Hillary, and it was really enlightening. It was for Michigan, wow. which ended up being a really important state for her. Uh, and you know, seventy percent of the time, people would just hang up on me. And these are people wow. who were registered Democrats. Mm. We at this point were just trying to get Democrats to make sure they knew where to go and when mm -hmm. to go vote. Wow. And and these are these are Democrats. So what I think was was also an unspoken element of this election was the secret Trump voter. All these yeah. people who, who voted 100%. for him and didn't say they were going to. I mean, I even have people in my own family, my own Mexican family, who were secret Trump voters. Yep. Didn't say they were going to well, vote Well, I mean, people are afraid did. of being demonized and being attacked by, you know, people uh, from Talk. the Democratic Party. I right. think that's why a lot of people kept quiet. Speaking of polls, though, yeah. whatever happened to those guys from, I think it was the Trump campaign, mm -hmm. that did go to a strip club while they were out in uh, doing some sort of campaign. Did you guys hear about that? No. no? Did they? Well, that's yeah. not a surprise. I mean, probably, yeah. <laughs> what happened to that poll, Danta? <laughs> um, no, I didn't I think, that. Are we going to do, can we do a follow and follow? 
It's time for follow, unfollow. Yay! Oh yeah! So we got a couple a uh, couple of uh, people pitted against each other. You're going to tell me which one you're going to follow and which one you're going to unfollow. Okay? On social media or it, in it, my heart? On social media okay. and your heart. Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> on social media or in your heart. It should be the same thing, but it's not. It should be, but it's not. Uh, the first one is Solange versus mm -hmm. Beyonce. Solange has a hit record right now, and uh, Beyonce, uh, you know, I know they're sisters. I, they're in my ear telling me they're sisters. I get they're it. I know they're sisters. <laughs> so, I mean, what do you think, though? Sibling rivalry, who are you, you going to back up oh. here? Oh, man, this is hard. They're both H Town girls. I'm from uh, Houston as well, Ooh, so I love them both. If I must, just because I'm really feeling uh, a seat at the table, which is Solange's new album, I, I'll, I'll follow Solange. I, I also think that she's, she's a little more indie, and she's, yeah. uh, which I like. Um, not that, I mean, not that I don't like Beyonce, guys. <laughs> well, not being a cardinal but, sin. <laughs> right, yeah. but I, I, I'm really, I'm feeling what she's offering these well, days. Well, Beyonce also recently had the first bomb of her career. Trying to get Hillary Clinton elected. Oh, oh right. damn. Oh, what's okay. the wow. Savage. <laughs> Next one. Savage. Just way too soon. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, too soon. Too soon. Uh, the, the electoral vote versus the popular vote. Oh, what do you think about this? Okay, I still don't get this, though. What the, uh, we can talk and, about it at some other time, because, you no, know. We, well, go ahead. I don't know. Explain it? Explaining it? I mean, yeah, it's, it's like it's, a, it's an ancient institution. The idea that each state is given a certain number of representatives, mm -hmm. and, ev and, and the popular vote dictates how how many of the representatives, uh, the popular vote dic dictates which uh, party is deemed the top, the winning party in oh. each state, and then that state gets all of the electoral votes, and the electoral votes are determined based on population. So oh. Alaska will have fewer but the, than the way, and, and we just have 30 seconds, so basically yeah. you can have two different, you can have somebody winning the electoral college and getting elected and yeah. still losing the popular vote. And I think, I'm not sure if Hillary Clinton got That's to give the little one thing. What do you, what do you think? Do you think that we should just go to a straight popular vote and forget about this whole electoral college thing? I, I do think there's some value to the electoral college because it gives people in rural areas more of a voice, but the, the problem with it's just it's all fucked up. I get rid of it. I popular vote, popular, 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 popular vote, popular vote, popular vote. Popular popular vote. vote. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people in the middle of America. I want to thank you for being here. Thank, thank you for returning. You guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. You're very amazing. Much for thank you. Me. Watch her spoof some Melania Trump. There's more to come. Say yes. goodbye with your best Melania girl. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>